world, welcome to Learn Jingle by creating an algo expert clone. So it's not like Learn Jingle, it's more like Use Jingle to create some uh, applications. So disclaimer, I'm not an affiliate or related to algo expert by any mean. I don't have a personal link to it. The reason I'm doing this clone because it's going to be the most interesting with the most hard, hardest one that I um, that's I did so far. And then, uh, what is an algo expert? Algo expert is a platform to prepare for your coding interviews. The real website, algoexpert.io. You can check it out. That's what we'll try to mimic. Also, as we learn from the bit.ly clone and the Discord clone, if you watch it, the end result is like nothing like these two. Like. No matter the CSS or the functionality. I mean, it does have some basic functionality, but it does nothing like that. But that's a real website. Um, yeah. So <laughs> let me see. Okay, too much prerequisites. So we need you need some Python Jingle knowledge, my CSS knowledge, JavaScript knowledge. I have all of them. Tutorials link down in description below. Probably gonna leave a card to it as well. I just uh, recently. Finish all the four, uh, four videos on Django tutorial. So feel free to check that out. You should have that. It's, so it's, it's like more use Django, not like learn Django. So we'll focus on MVP only or minimum viable product. However, this part is fairly complicated. It's going to take at least videos, 10 videos. First, we'll also be focused on front end, specifically the question list, which means you can drag a specific question and it also save the position of this question to the database. And then, but we have an asterisk here, which means we're probably not going to implement that feature. We're going to see can we implement that or not. Most likely not. We'll just display all the question first. Then it's code editor. We we'll implement double layout. So left is a question, right is a code editor. Code editor with itself and run code and submit code button. Um, we will not deal with like custom test. Um, backend login system. This time will be different. We'll use GitHub OWASP instead uh, because of the security. Not really because of security. Nobody gonna use this clone anyway. Um, but more is because how they handled using OWASP. They have three OWASP, but we're just gonna use GitHub OWASP to make things easier. Restrict access slash authorization. User must be logging in via OWASP to see and try the question. Um, paid user can only see some questions, paid user can see all questions. Code editor, save the code every time, able to run code, submit code, save user's progress. Um, I know I've mentioned that, like, I'm going to mention code editor, like, in three slides. Um, save user's progress, payment system, we're going to integrate, integrate Stripe API. Don't worry, don't have to pay. I mean, there's, it's a test credit card, we're going to use test credit card. And then you can try to see what happens when you like the database design, stuff like that. Uh, RCE or remote code execution. Again, the code editor, same as third bullet point above. We'll only implement Python as a programming language, as a program, uh, as a, like the programming language that the user can use to type their codes. Probably and JavaScript. I'm gonna think about that. Maybe not JavaScript. Like everything have asterisk or privacy. Maybe not gonna implement language. I'm going to think. I'm thinking of using some like, also use some syntax highlighting, but uh, we'll see. Testing, we will go at testing every API we created, and then we'll have to create a question API, uh, include title, description, and starter code, and then since because I didn't found that good question API we can use. Um, yeah, so that's about it for learning to go by creating an algo expert clone. Hope you enjoyed this teaser intro and stay tuned for the tutorial that's going to come in up where we're going to start implementing the NLGuest for clone. Thanks for watching.